When can my 10 mil become 20 mil? Are they going after rich people? No, they're not going after rich people. Who are they going after? The filthy freaking rich people. Do you think he has a vested interest to take my money? But he's telling me the God honest truth. You need to have $10 million with me for you to have an account. And that has more capacity to flip your money than you even have an account at Goldman Sachs, for his words. So Thursday, I have lunch with this guy named John. Goldman Sachs, okay? What's, who's, who's Goldman Sachs? Big dogs of Wall Street. They've taken many companies public. So if, uh, so, uh, if you wanna build a company and uh, you've got a lot of interested people want to invest in your company and you have a very profitable company, you got companies like Goldman Sachs, hey, shh, 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 come over here. Don't talk to J.P. Morgan, don't talk to, right? Charles Schwab, talk to us, because we want to take you IPO, initial public offering. So, you know, Ron, Ron brought up the example of uh, uh, Uber, right? Uber, Amazon goes public, uh, Facebook goes public, DoorDash goes public, all these companies go public. Who, chances are, takes them public? Goldman Sachs, okay? So Goldman Sachs are kind of like the big dogs. And here's the thing, there's only, uh, there's only 450, 400, 450, how many, how many insurance agents do we have even at PHP? Right, 27, 30,000, give or take, right? Mm -hmm. How many uh, wealth advisors work for Goldman Sachs? 400. 400. <laughs> Between 400 and 450 partners at any given point. Mm. Okay, and there's maybe one or two in all of Dallas. There's only one or two in all of LA, one or two in all of, right? So there's very, they're very, and who are they going after? Are they going after rich people? Yeah. No, they're not going after rich people. Who are they going after? Ultra -rich. The filthy freaking rich people. Oh, yeah. Ultra freaking rich, right? Okay, now, what, what, uh, what has the uh, S&P 500 lost this year so far? 22, 22, 23%. You think rich people care? No, they don't give a, matter of fact, they do because now they want to put more money in it. Who really is affected by a 23% drop in, a, in the S&P 500? Us. Why? Because that's our entire retirement savings. I can't afford this to lose a dime. Matter of fact, market drops, I don't even have any extra cash to take advantage of opportunities. I'm still, I'm still so strapped. I said, you know what, uh, John, entertain me, indulge me real quick. Do you, do you guys know how much it takes for you to open an account at Merrill Lynch to have a financial advisor assign, assigned to you? How much? Merrill Lynch? Merrill Lynch. 250000 So if you want to go to Bank of America, open up a... A, a, a brokerage account, you have to have $250,000 liquid and they're gonna assign you somebody to help manage your portfolio. You have 50,000? You got 10,000? Uh, here's a 800 number and a website called Merrill Edge. <laughs> Not Merrill Lynch. Right, work your way up to a, a quarter mil and then maybe you can have a conversation with us. Okay, so I asked ask you guys the same thing. <laughs> so what do I need to? have an account liquid to establish an account with Goldman Sachs. I want to get in all the goodies. I want, to, I want to get involved in the companies that nobody knows about yet, they're about to go IPO. Like how would you love to be part of Amazon before everybody knows Amazon? How would you love to be part of Facebook and, and, and all these different companies, right? Tesla, all these different companies, right? Before they all go public. I, I'd want to know that. You know what he tells me? Here's what he tells me. Matt, what are you trying to do? You're trying to, what, what are you trying to do? I'm, I said, I'm trying to flip my money. Right, I'm trying to get my 10 mil, he goes, you need to have 10 million dollars with me for you to have an account, okay, 10 mil. Okay, indulge me. Let's say I got 10 mil, I come up in the next couple of years, I got 10 mil. I build my business, I got 10 mil, I take some equity off the, off the, off the top, I hope an account with you. When can my 10 mil become 20 mil? And he says, listen, he goes, let me help you with this thought and help manage the expectations. Knowing what I know about you guys, knowing what I know about the insurance industry, do I know. No, I know I want to know about entrepreneurship because my average client is between 45 and 55 and all of them have their own business. And they have $10 million liquid with me, right? One, one guy is in this area, he's got software, he's 49 years old, he's got a $50 million account with me. Imagine, imagine being 49 years old, just, yeah, here's 50 mil, it's okay. I got money elsewhere. Anyway, between 45 and 55 is his average client. $10 million minimum account liquid portfolio with him. And said, even if you expected me to flip this for you, knowing no one about insurance, knowing no one about your business, knowing no one about Patrick, knowing no one about PHP, I'd much rather you reinvest back into yourself and flip your money with your business. Wow. You'll make money faster. 
Goldman Sachs. I was like, bro, this is from him, and you think he has a vested interest to take my money? Yes. Yes. But he's telling me the God honest truth. If you want to take your 100,000 and flip it to 200,000, I ain't going to do that for you. You better reinvest that back into your business. But anyway, this guy right here, as much as he wants to take our, our money, he says, man, how much you got rather invest and double down in this thing? Because why? Can I, do you think he controls the $10 million to do, to, to do 20 million? Does he have any control there? Does he have any say so? He's hopefully picking the right companies. But here at PHP, here in business, as an entrepreneur, do you have power and control over your efforts, the time you put into the business, how many phone calls you make, how many sales you close, how many team members you build, and how many people you convert to licensed agents, how many FAs you promote, how many MDs you promote? Do you have control over that? Yes. And that has more capacity to flip your money than even with an account at Goldman Sachs, for his words. So I just want to keep that in mind, okay? So I, I want you to know that even the big dogs believe in this. And guys, here I am, Naval Academy grad, if you know anything about the military. He's a Naval Academy grad, was a lieutenant commander when he retired. He's 36, 37 years old now, manages $1.7 billion of assets under management. And he's talking to this guy, who was a sergeant in the Marines. <laughs> No high school, uh, uh, only have a high school uh, diploma, PhD, public high school diploma, oh, yeah. right? 2.2 .2 GPA, because I stumbled across the right industry, the right leadership, the right system, the right CEO, the right city, guess what? Goldman Sachs account? Who am I? He says, Matt, once you get to 10 mil, I'll give you a 60% line of credit. What are we talking about? Okay, you get to 10 million, I'll get you instantly approved for a $6 million line. Wow. So it's interesting. So I open a $10 million account. So in other words, you give me 6 million bucks to go buy and do whatever. No problem. I get that for you. So I really have 16 million over there. So why, so why, so why wouldn't I go buy private? Why wouldn't I go buy a business by myself with the $10 million I created? Because rich people don't use their money to buy things. They use debt to buy things. Yeah. They appreciate. By the way, how do you think uh, uh, Patrick got his house? He initially bought it with a line of credit and then he refinanced it. But he stroked the check, so it's cash offer to them. But Patrick knows the back end, guess what he's gotta do? I gotta refinance things so I can pay off the line of credit because the line of credit fluctuates in interest rate so I can lock in a low two, 3% interest rate uh, uh, a year or two years ago. And that's what Patrick did, that's his, that's his jack move. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this up by saying, go build your business, go kick some ass in outstanding October. You have the capacity to double your income. I hope that you guys start believing yourself a little bit more. You make phone calls a little bit more. You prospect a little bit more boldness. You stand, stand a little stronger. Because uh, all the problems that you see in the marketplace today, guess who's got answers? We do. You do.